Hey guys, Jay here. Uh, just wanted to say sorry about the wait. Um, this is going to be part three of the six cord woodshed build. Um, I was trying to figure out why I never posted part three and I figured it out. Um, once I filled, after the full, after the main construction of it, what I ended up, did, what I ended up doing was uh, I got a couple calls of some really good wood lots. So I brought home a ton of firewood. So I ended up filling the shed before I actually put the roof on. And um, I realized I was like, well, the sun and the wind were hitting the woods. So I figured, hey, why cover it? Let the sun hit it, let you know, help the uh, logs dry out. That was my original goal was to do uh, wood sheds with removable tops so I can get the sun and wind from you know all angles. But um, the reason why there was no part three was because I never filmed it because I came out here and I put the cover on, put the plywood on and put the canvas on, I think like two days before it snowed. So I was kind of in a hurry, I didn't get to film it. But now I'm gonna show you. This video series has been popular. It's at like 60,000 views now. And a lot of people are asking, well, what was the final product? So I'm about to show you. So what ended up happening is it is, um, it is the end of February, so eight months ago I built this, but I just wanted to demonstrate, as you can see here, there's still some firewood, unfortunately, under the snow. I never got to finish, but all I did was, you could see at the very end of the last video, I just did half inch plywood for the roof. All underneath, hopefully the lighting's decent. And then, uh, oh, you can see there. Then I used this canvas. This was from a rhino shelter double carport that we had collapsed. If you watched, uh, I have a few videos on building a new one, but the original one we had collapsed. So what I did was I cut and I measured it and I drooped it over and then I left a long portion in the front. And the reason I did that is because for plowing and snow blowing, I don't want to plow or I don't want to throw snow in there because here's the other one, did the same thing with this one. I clear in here, we just got about four inches of snow, so I haven't yet, but I left the covers on, I leave them, uh, I left extra material to protect from blowing snow in with the snowblower. So that's this side. Let me show you, you can see completely stacked with wood. I'm six feet tall and I'm reaching my hand up. So um, it's a good size pile. So let me show you, see if I can get a good shot. Here's the roof with, again, we just got about three inches of snow. That's holding up. People were worried about the uh, strength of it. I'm not really worried about it. This isn't, I'm not living in this. I'm not putting livestock in it. I'm not putting my son in it. It's just for firewood. If it collapses, no big deal. It's not gonna hurt anybody. So there's a good shot of the front of it. I mean, what better timing? It just snowed out. And as you can see, here's leftover plywood from when I did the roof, but it works for me. It's nothing fancy. Uh, at the end of the day, the firewood's dry, so that's all it comes down to. So I just want to kind of give you guys that. The overall view of it and how it came out. I love it. Uh, in the spring, I'll roll the fronts up. Roll the fronts up. That's kind of like the transitioning into the nice months. That way get the wind blowing in from all the sides and then like you see the sun's there so I just wanted to uh, show you guys how it worked out and I loaded this thing completely up to the top as you can see there there's a little little airspace but this thing's pretty loaded so I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys the final product I'm happy with it. This was a 100% free build. All it cost me was uh, just nails and screws. Locally sourced pallets and 2x4s and material. The canvas came from the old carport. Uh, I have a video series. I'm building a new one if you guys want to check that out. But I'm Jay. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry to keep you waiting, but what a better way to show you. Eight months later, still standing. I know a lot of people were uh, nervous about that, but... Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if you subscribe, too, hit, that, uh, hit the notification button. I got a lot going on in the homestead. Uh, in the spring, we are going to build another woodshed right there. Get rid of this corral. This is a bunch of crap here. We're going to build uh, a sixth one. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're going to build a sixth woodshed here. So hit that thumbs up. 
If you like what you see, please subscribe. And to all my new subscribers, people who've reached out to me, people who have talked to me, um, people who said all the positivity on this woodshed, again, this is purpose built. This is just to hold wood for the outdoor boiler. It's nothing fancy. There's room in here to snow blow. Um, this woodshed's full too. It works. The sun's hitting a little bit. The logs are drying. It serves a purpose. They don't get rained on. I don't know about you, but putting wet logs into a wood burner isn't the best thing. So I'm Jay, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Pound that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see or think it's pretty neat, let me know if you're building something like this. This is just like a low budget, basically free. What I had kicking around, that's all I'm about is reusing stuff. Recycling and reusing. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.